welcome to Science Gal Aquatics. I'm Carrie, and in today's video, well, let me just show you. Stay tuned. Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, your place for guppy love and more. Sharing the good, the bad, and the unexpected adventures of fish keeping. Let the show start in three, two, one. Enjoy. So I've recently shared with you that this 55 gallon right here became available. And in order for this tank right here to be open, to be used as a heavily planted guppy tank, which make sure you are subscribed to Science Gal Aquatics because you'll want to stay updated on this project. But the bass and the perch, they needed some extra swimming room anyway. So let me show you where they went. So the largemouth bass and the black fin perch got an upgrade and their tank is located upstairs next to the silver arowana tank. I was after a hundred gallon aquarium, but the dill fell through last minute. And I did find this 75 gallon aquarium that's actually in really good condition. And I did decide to keep it upstairs because one, I just felt like this tank was gonna be really hard to maneuver down the staircase. And two, this room at one point was the garage, so I felt like the concrete floors made for a good spot. On a side note, this tank is extremely difficult to keep nice and clean. They aren't necessarily the cleanest fish, and they do have a high bio load. So they've only been enjoying this aquarium for a short amount of time, but I desperately don't trust my lid situation. It needs improvement. But on the other hand, my shop light's doing a fantastic job, but there's only plastic plants in this aquarium. I am currently using this old canister filter and I did add a bunch of extra media to it, but this was just thrown in for free when I bought the silver arowana tank. The majority of their substrate came from their older tank to help cycle this aquarium. It's mainly sand with various sizes of pebbles and stones with a few extra larger rocks. Then I did add a bunch of plastic plants in the background and two larger air stones. They've always got along quite well, it's just this added swimming space has drastically improved the relationship. I still have plans for them to go in an outside pond this summer, but I thought they needed some extra swimming space now. The bass is growing quite large, just not as large as his appetite. They honestly get fed pretty much whatever they want a couple of times a day, ranging from bloodworms to mealworms, pellets, minnows, just pretty much whatever they want. But I have been liking Hakari's Cichlid Gold, the floating pellet. I like the larger one for the largemouth bass and the mini type for the black fin perch. Now we can't forget about the one lonely crawdad. And how can we not check in with the silver arowana? We have to feed this tank too. Make sure you are subscribed to Science Gal Aquatics and that bell notification is clicked. And don't forget to leave me a comment about your monster fish. Until next time, I'll see you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Enjoy!